was traumatic for a local mother, and it could have been tragic for her eight-year-old son. The seatbelt that he had pulled around his neck locked up and started choking him. He told her that he couldn't breathe, and then he lost consciousness. And as Julie McDonald shows us, that's when his brave mother acted very quickly and saved her son's life. The panic. I don't ever want to feel like that ever again. Ever. Her heart-stopping horror happened Saturday. Driving through this Bedford intersection, she almost lost her son. Just raspy voice, Mom, I can't breathe. Eight-year-old Braden was properly buckled in his seat belt, but in pulling on the unused middle strap from the ceiling, he became entangled. And the harder he pulled, the tighter it got. And before I could even process anything, he was basically hanging from the ceiling, just unconscious, blue as can be. There was blood coming out from the pressure. She pulled over, screaming for help. That's when she noticed a hair salon and ran inside yelling for scissors. Hi, um, we, need, we need help right now. We're on yep. Great Road, please. You're, you're great road, so we have people on the way. She frantically cut her son out of the seatbelt. He fell and she began CPR. He just went, <gasps> What happened? I'm okay. And just stared at me, looking like he was from another. Planet. Braden was rushed to Mass General, but he's going to be okay. Acura told WBZ there are no recalls involving their rear belts. The mother isn't pointing fingers, but she's urging other parents to consider keeping safety tools in the car. First and foremost, this is not a sympathy plea. This is not poor us. Look at us. This is a, this could happen to you and you need to be prepared. In Bedford, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.